I was curious what pattern would emerge when all the points of the seed of life are connected to each other. And I realized while I was drawing it that I'm not in control of anything. The seed of life has 13 intersections, but I'm going to spice it up a bit and add a circle around the outside to give us 19 intersections. And even though I'm the one drawing this pattern, I'm not the one that's in control. When you're drawing the seed of life or any other geometric pattern, the pattern is in control, not you. There's no way to draw this pattern without using the points that are given to you by the pattern. You have to let go and let the symbol take you for the ride. You're the one drawing it, or are you? Is the pattern just using you to bring itself to life? And I think that's the same as, as life. You know, we think we're in control, but I don't think we, we're in as much control as we think. Maybe you're just being taken for a ride. And the reason you feel anxious is because the ride is not going the way that you want it to. You're not in as much control as you would like to be in. And here's the thing. When you try and control life, you will always come across obstructions that are going to mess with your plan. And then you'll be disappointed. So really what you're, what you're doing is you're inducing suffering on yourself by trying to take control. And the way to reduce the suffering is to just let go and just go with the flow, you know. Just let whatever is meant to happen, happen. I mean, look at your mind. Are you in control of your own thoughts? Are you in control of your own emotions? I think it's possible to control your own mind, but most of the time you're not in control. And if you have bad thoughts or, you know, like if you're feeling down because of your thoughts, again, you just need to just let them go and not try to control them, just observe them and let them go. So it's the same in the mental world as it is the physical world. You just have to just let go and let things be the way that they are. You can't force things to happen the way that you want to. And you also can't focus on the results because when you do, you're putting too much pressure on yourself or everyone around you to perform the way that it has to be performed. I always look at my cats as role models because they understand life. They know exactly how to live. I don't think I've ever seen my cat stressed out about something that's going to happen in the future or something that has happened in the past. Well, I mean, there was one time where a German shepherd carried him away in his mouth and uh, he spent a bit of time under the bed after that. But they get over it so quick. And, and I'll just sit and I'll just watch my cat sometimes. And you can see that there's nothing going on inside his head. Because he's just sitting there waiting for something to react to. He's waiting for some kind of cue. Like hunger. He feels a bit of hunger. And then he sets off to go and satiate that hunger. And he'll do whatever he has to until that hunger is gone. And once it's gone, he's not going to think about food anymore. He's just going to think about relaxing. He has absolutely no control, but he also has total control. He's driven by a force that is beyond his own will. But he knows what to do about it. Here's the thing, right? I think that we are driven by desire and needs. And so it's a bit of a paradox because... I do actually believe in the power of visualization and manifestation. I do believe in the law of attraction. I think that if you visualize something, you can bring it into your reality. And I don't think there's anything woo-woo about that. I think the reason that that works is because you have the desire, you just naturally do what it takes to reach that goal. And if you don't actually desire it, like if you're just coming up with a goal to make someone else happy, then it's not going to happen because the desire is not there. So in a way, you are controlling reality just by visualizing things and bringing them into reality. Because you can, you can control what you do 
now. But you can't control the results of what you do now. What you do now will definitely shape your future, but you don't know how it's going to shape your future. And so it's best not to have any expectations of how things are going to be. It's like this pattern that I'm drawing right here. I kind of have an idea of how it's going to look, but I'm not exactly sure how it's going to look until it's finished. I had a general idea, but I know that it's not going to turn out how I saw it in my head. And that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing either. So I'm not going to be disappointed if it doesn't look the way that I thought it was going to look. You're not in control of the path of your life. And so you shouldn't stand in your own way by trying to force things. You just have to walk the path. Just keep connecting the dots. There's no pressure because you never know where life's going to take you. I remember the most happy, not happy, but the most content I ever was, was when I was hitchhiking around Europe and I was sleeping in the woods and I literally didn't know where I was going to sleep that night. I didn't know where I was going to go that morning. I had no idea what the day held. I had no expectations. I had no goal. I would just let whatever happens happen. And I wasn't trying to force anything. And that is without a doubt the most content I've been in life and the most successful I've been at letting go of all control. And that was 10 years ago now. And I'm, and I'm sure that everyone has felt that way at some point, even if you have to go all the way back to childhood. Because as a child, you don't have control over anything. Someone else is telling you when to go to bed, when you got to take a bath, when you got to go to school. You're going to do this, this and this at this time. And you just go with it. But you're always playing. You're always in the moment. You're always having fun. And that's how life is. You need to just always be in the moment and always be having fun. Because life is not as serious as everyone tries to make it. We are just a part of nature. And we just have to do whatever feels natural.